Hey everyone, this is Bongo. Bongo clearly does not want to be on camera with me. Just say hi to the people. No? Okay. So, <laughs> this video is going to be about what I wish I knew before getting Bongo. His name is Bongo, you guys. He's a Maltese. I think he's a toy uh, Maltese. He's pretty small. I don't think he's getting any bigger than that. Um, I love him. He's my bestie. I saw a video not too long ago um, that whoop, that went into, I was like 10 things I wish I knew before getting a dog. So I thought I would do something similar um, and kind of make it relate more to a small dog, a Maltese uh, in particular for my case. So the first thing I wish I knew um, before acquiring Bongo was that he's extremely needy. By the way, I actually bought him from Craigslist. I bought him off of Craigslist. He belonged to a, a elderly couple. They said that they had kids that they were taking care of that had um, autism and it was becoming too much. I don't know if um, like they were a little bit rough with him or if overall they just could not take on a dog on top of their um, responsibilities. But that's the here nor there. They're extremely needy. If you think you're gonna be in the home and he's not gonna be in the same room as you, it's not happening. Bongo follows me everywhere. The bathroom, the living room, my room, everywhere. If I go out and I bring him, same thing. He needs to be at my hip at all times. So if you are not into a clingy dog, just skip the Maltese breed overall. Um, I'm looking over here because I don't want to forget anything. They need to be groomed, I think, more so than most dogs. You need to keep a brush on hand. I tend to take him to the groomer at least once a month. Now he's coming around because I just picked him up once. He thinks he's he needs to be in my lap the entire time. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, they need to go to the groomer often, whether that's... I'm lazy, so sometimes I'll just take him to the groomer for them to bathe him. Sometimes I'll do the full grooming. But if you don't, his hair um, will get matted. Or in general, Maltese, hey, they call it hair, not fur. It will get matted if you're not taking regular um, care of it. Also, because he has white hair, dirt is more apparent. So you're going to find yourself um, bathing a Maltese a little bit more often than, you know, a brown dog or a regular dog with regular fur. Um, they are, overall, Maltese are pretty small dogs, so they're prone to injury and they don't have, you know, a good perception of depth. So they'll like jump off the couch or jump out the car thinking that, you know, the ground is not that far from them and then end up getting hurt. Luckily, um, for my dog, he hasn't really done that. But I know for um, other people, their dogs have like jumped off of the couch or jumped out of the car and seriously hurt themselves. So just be mindful of that. If you do end up um, getting a Maltese, they are fearless. And sometimes that fearless can, you know, that fearlessness can be not such a good thing. All right, they are sensitive. If I reprimand Bongo, I don't really yell at him, but if I talk to him sternly and like shake my finger at him, he will be like depressed and all cowered down for hours. So you gotta be very gentle with them, even when they do things that they know they're not supposed to do. Like he loves to go through garbage. He knows he's not supposed to go through the garbage. He knows he's not supposed to go into my um, laundry hamper. By the way, if you guys have a Maltese, do you find that your Maltese steals things like socks and underwear? Because my my dog definitely does that. Um, but just be, you know, careful when speaking to them because they do seem to like um, hold on to things. I don't know how true that is for most dog breeds, but Bongo in particular, extremely sensitive. Um, to piggyback on that, Bongo has sensitive skin and um, a couple of groomers and veterinarians have said the same thing. Maltese are prone to skin conditions. Sometimes he'll have like lesions on his back, like um, these weird mole looking things. And I've taken him to the vet and so far they haven't said it's like cancer or anything like that. But um, I was provided a special soap to bathe him with. But when I go to the groomer, I do have to warn them, you know, take your time when you're bathing him. 
One time I went to PetSmart and the groomer was like scrubbing him so vigorously, it tore his skin. I was super upset. Um, but Maltese are prone to skin conditions. Apparently it's due to like their oil production. They produce a lot of oil, um, which I guess can produce like dog acne. I don't know, but that was the explanation that I got. And um, last but not least, they are super affectionate. Um, if you want to hug your dog 10 times a day, if you want to hug a Maltese 10 times a day, he will allow it or he or she will allow it. Like they are loving not only with you, but with strangers. I don't really know Maltese dogs to have like a um, snarky side when it comes to strangers. Bongo loves everyone. It could just be that he was uh, well trained um, with the previous owners. He'll bark, but it's just that all bark, no bite. He is honestly the best thing I could have asked for in recent years. And yeah, I love him. Bongo, do you want to say bye to the people? Huh? I guess not. Bongo, do you want to say bye to the folks? That's it. Thanks for watching, you guys. I need to like come up with different, um, different ways to vlog. My life is boring, I think, during the week. Not so much during the weekend, but I go to, I get ready for work, go to work, I come home. I may go to Taco Tuesday or like a burger night here and there, but do you guys want to see that? Maybe you do. So I think I'm going to mix up the Vlogmas um, format to include vlogs and just, um, you know, regular sit down videos, but I need to put content out there. I'm going to work at it. All right, bye. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like, don't forget to comment. If you have a Maltese, what are five things or even just one thing that you wish you knew before getting him or just like, a fact that you think most people don't know about Maltese. All right, bye.